Hi guys and welcome to your third session with How To Learning Center. Today we'll be handling a group box and some radio buttons to to color in. Well, to just select some colors to add it add to wherever you want to. We're going to start by adding a T group box. Uh, the prefix for that is GPB and we're just going to say GPB colors. Uh, we can just resize that one a bit. Once again, I'm not going to make it very neat. Um, then we're going to add some radio buttons. We're going to add six of them. So we're going to use <sighs> RAD is the prefix for that one. RAD blue um, T radio and RAD purple. RAD yellow okay so what have we got here blue yellow purple oh, red, yeah. we can use green as well Just to get back to the basic one, we can go white. White. Oh, as you'll notice, not. Sometimes I use capital letters. Sometimes I don't. It just reads easier. As soon as you start developing huge applications, you'll see that it's it's a little bit easier to to use your capitalization after your after your prefix because it just reads so much easier oh, but you'll see on the side some of them it's, it's a matter of my finger actually pushing the shift button and oh, it's just so much slip so I use it on my big applications just change the captions of all of them Okay, and our group box, we can just say colors, and we can just use a T bit button, and we can just make that one close. Okay, uh, now I can put it outside the group box, just stretch it a bit, uh, set the kind, still remember how to do that very easy okay no editing on that one now to set these well okay we'll color this background of the yeah of the group box it's fine you can double click the yellow so that when you click on yellow it actually changes the color um, yeah the on click handler you just use the button RAD yellow dot uh, no not the click itself sorry for that one we're gonna use the GPB colors dot yellow ah oh, come on dot color and we're gonna set that one to yellow CL yellow and you can re just repeat that for all of your buttons for your blue we can do exactly the same gpb colors dot color just set that equal to cl blue sorry for that one and go back do that for purple gpb colors dot color guys with Delphi is as learning every subject repetition is is key to to making something of Delphi so 
that's why I use six buttons and not just two to show you guys to get that practice, 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 practice makes perfect. And with Delphi, it's absolutely true. It took me about a year of just sitting down and getting my stuff together to just get to the point where I am and I'm not the best there is. I'm very far from it. But I know something and I'm willing to share it so oh, stick with me and I'll make you famous. <laughs> Yeah, okay, there's the green one. We can do that for red as well. GPB. Colors. Oh, I forget to indent that always. reason why we indent is just for reading. You'll see later on. Then it starts making sense. Uh, just the color property again. And that one is red. CL red. Okay. And last but not least, white. GPB colors dot color and just set that equal to CL white. Okay, so we've done all of them. If I didn't make a mistake, it should compile properly. And as you click them, it doesn't work. Most probably a transparency issue again. Let me just check that for you. Just hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, it wasn't an issue. I don't know why my program did this, but it didn't work at first. But I tried to change some stuff, but now it seems to work fine. It's just around this white you'll see there's <laughs> a slight graphics glitch. As soon as you hover with your mouse over it, it works. So not perfect but just to give you a general idea of of group but of radio buttons easy to work them yeah and we can just close that program thank you for watching this is marius please subscribe to my channel you'll help me a lot thank you and bye